We're going old school versus new school. We've got this, the log jam, which is what's called the stomp pedal. And of course, the new electronic trigger of Roland SBD-1. We're gonna pit them together and see which one is better next on Geekazine. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine Thing Magazine. Put in a geek, you got me. And today we're gonna be playing some music. I got my guitar right in the background there. Uh, I'll be picking that up and strumming away as best as I can, but I'm also going to be showing you two products, one old school music and one new school music. We've got, let me show you right here, the Log Jam. This is the prologue from Log Jam. I got it uh, about a year ago uh, after I saw it at NAMM and really excited, but uh, wanted to see how I could do a, the right review. And this is perfect. And of course, this last year, Roland came out with this, the SBD-1, and this is the kick version. There's four different versions of this. And these are perfect for stomp boxes. And what's a stomp box, you ask? It's basically when you're playing guitar, you don't have any accompaniment. You do something to bring your own accompaniment. Some, sometimes you'll take an old uh, tambourine and you'll strap it to your shoe and then you'll use that or maybe some jingle bells or something else. A stomp box is perfect because of the fact it gives you that bass kick as you're playing and many blues artists love to use that stomp box in many different ways. Log Jam is a great pro a company that comes out with a lot of different styles of stomp boxes. And of course, Roland being one of the top electronic drum manufacturers out there. So this is a perfect throwdown where we can find out what's better, or maybe they're both better, or maybe they're better together. We'll see. Let's check these out one at a time. All right, we're going to start with the Roland SBD-1. Uh, this comes, uh, this basically is the unit. It comes in di four different flavors. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'll have the link in the show notes, of course. They have the electro, the kick, the percussion, and the wave pad. The first three are pretty much the same. The fourth one, the wave pad, is actually meant for importing multiple waves. So it costs a little bit more, but these are around the 199 area um, you know, on Amazon. Their, their MSRP is actually $249.99. So, and basically what it is, is a single pad uh, where you can use, you can actually use it for your foot and stomp on it like you would a, you know, a kick drum, or you can uh, put it onto a stand using this bracket right here. Put the bracket on really quick. So basically this is the hardware you get. You just put it on right here and then you get two wing nuts uh, screws and put it the on right. We're going to go well, put only one on to save time here. You can then put it on a stand and uh, have it close so you just slap it with your hand. A lot of hand percussionists this might be perfect to get an extra extra sound in there. And we have multiple sounds. One thing I don't like about this brace really quick is actually two things I don't like about the brace. First of all is you can't, it's hard to keep on if you want to transfer from floor to stand because these wing nuts get in the way. The other problem that I have with this bracket right here, you gotta put, pull the stand apart to put this on, unless you've got a, a, a bracket or a mounting hardware that the arm that uh, that does that. I always like to have the little clamps. So if I want to, if I need to clamp it to a stand like a cymbal stand or something like that, I can easily do that. I can't do that with this. So, but that's neither here nor there. This it's 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 a minor issue. Let's zoom in here and take a look at all the things that we have. We have basically four dials. This dial tells us what type of device uh, we want to emulate. And of course you have all of them up here from stomp boxes to kibasas to ankle bracelets and that. This will tune it so it'll make it, uh, if you want a deeper sound or if you want a higher pitch sound, you can, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, two effects, reverb and distortion, and they, they play pretty nicely together. And then of course a volume button right here, uh, knob right here. We do have also have this really small button down here, which is a little bit disappointing. It's an instrument variation. So as you can see, some of these have two items on it. So you, you press the button, you'll have the gyro. If you press it again, you have the kibasa. One thing I don't like about it is it's such a small button that if you have this set on the floor, bending over, trying to turn dials, uh, it's just really smart and small to get. It would have been nice to have a bigger button, something that you could actually press maybe uh, when it's on the floor. Same thing with these dials. It's the tougher thing, but I know that companies make special dials that you can actually have 
So you can use your foot to turn the dials as you go, because sometimes that's all you need. And there's a lot of cool things you can do if you could have access to all four of these buttons. And I'll show you in a couple minutes here. All right, so on the back of this thing, we have uh, basically we have a place for power. We have the output, which we now have in the uh, into the mixer, and then a headphone uh, if you decide that you want to listen independently as well. So basically, we've got the, the different sounds here. First of all, we have the percussion kick. And of course, that's instrument variation. We press that button, and as you can hear, it's a different sound. We can tune that sound. We'll go back to this one because it has a more robust sound. You see, and then of course we have the reverb. And that's distortion. So you can have some fun with that. Second one is a hard kick. And it's instrument variation. Then we have and if you do the instrument variation, this is the other problem I have with this, is it doesn't tell you if you're on uh, channel one or channel two. So you might be on the second channel and realize that you've, you've got the wrong sound going on and trying to bend over to, kick, to press the button is almost impossible. So here's the next one. This is the percussive kick. And that was on the variation. So we'll go back to the regular. And then this is their emulation of a stomp box with their variation more of a cajon. Next up, we have a TR kick, a little electronic sound and its variation. And then we get into some of the uh, extra sounds. We got jingles. Those are metal jingles. These are sleigh bells. Next up, we've got the Cabasa Giro. Ankle bracelet. Now this is gonna be, this is more of a shell ankle bracelet and this is more of a metal bracelet. Uh, next up, we've got cowbell. Or claves. Uh, we got clap, or X stick, or cross stick. And then we got a nice little cymbal accent here, which is, if you press it, it's like a closed hi-hat. The last one is user input. So basically what you do is you hook this up to the computer, uh, and it sees it like, a, like any other drive. And then you, you import your, your MP3 file, and then it will play that. And I haven't really put in too many sounds. We just have the user sound. Yeah! Yeah. There is no instrument variation on it, so it's only one sound. So make that sound count, whether it be a... Yeah! Or just something else. Maybe another uh, percussive instrument. Maybe, you know, a count off or something like that. One, two, three, four. Boom. And, uh, and go from there. So so we can have a lot of fun with it. I would, what I'd like to do is uh, let's let's do this. Let's go to the ankle bracelet. There we go. So you, you can have some fun with the tuning. You go. Put some reverb on it. Or even distortion. You get the idea. So that's basically the SPD one from Roland. Next up is we have the Prologue. This is uh, from Log Jam, and it's basically a microphone or a piezo uh, mic of some sort that's inside this solid piece of wood. The piece of wood can be solid, the piece of wood can be hollow, giving you different sounds. This is a nice solid one. And of course, we got the mic input right there. And the idea is then it just uh, hits and uh, gives us a sound like this. And of course, wherever you hit it, the uh, the sound can change a little bit, uh, but it's not gonna give you much 
uh, different sounds off of this whole thing. And of course, you're going to have to have whatever you're using to amplify it, whether it be the mixer or whether plugging it into an instrument amp, uh, it's it's got to give it the reverb. It's got to give it, you've got to adjust the, uh, the EQ on it to give it a nice low sound. And there's also other factors that are involved, like for instance, the type of shoes that you wear. Uh, the types of surfaces that you're playing on, so on and so forth. So, and of course, as you can see, this is nice. I can also put this on a table and use this as a single kick right there. As you can hear, it's got a pretty decent sound with a little bit of reverb into it. There's a lot of great ways to, to use this. And of course, the, the this is just one of many different stomps that you can get that Log Jam actually has a version that actually has a little snare so you can hit over here and it's got more of a bass sound you hit over here and it's got more of a snare sound um, they also have individual snares and maybe little jingles in there uh, you can go over to logjam.com to check out all the different types of stomp boxes that they have but now let's take these stomp boxes to the floor with the guitar let's play a few songs and see how they work and which one's going to be better for you so here we are, we have both pedals here. We have the, uh, the log jam, which you can hear here. And then of course you have the SBD one. Now, something to note on the log jam, it is an active mic, which means that the second you touch it, you're starting to hear stuff. And of course, with the SBD one, if you do tap around, you might hear your trigger. I do have some effects on the uh, S on both on the log jam to kind of match what's going on with the SBD one, uh, depending on what uh, you have for your uh, for your mixers, you you'll, you might get a different sound. One last thing to note. It really depends on what type of shoes you have. I have a rubber sole shoe on, but if you use a harder sole shoe, uh, you'll find that you might get a more tappier sound. And of course, if you play on the different parts of the log jam, you're gonna get a different sound like from here to here. This one's uh, set up to mimic what a stomp box would do. So you're, we're, that's what we're gonna hear on these first uh, first recordings. I'm going to do one of my originals here. <clears throat> Blown away 
Cause I'm gone Wine road is all I need Walk for miles in the summer breeze Just me and my trusty guitar Is the only thing that'll take me far Gone I'm gone I'm gone like a bird in the sky I'm gone. And then, of course, I can do them both. No, I got no money. No, I got no car. One thing I can say. When it's time I'm gone Cause I'm gone Yeah I'm gone And then I can put in some accents Or an accent like this We're doing both together. This when it's time I'm gone, cause I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. So which one are you gonna get? Are you gonna go old school with the log jam? This one, uh, this comes out to about $133 uh, for the price that uh, at this time of the recording. And then of course the Roland SBD one gives you a little bit more extras for $199. Of course you can get both of them and you know, do what I did. If you've got some music tech that you want me to review, let me know. Of course I go to NAMM every single year in January and take a look at the cool tech out there so if you're a company that wants me to come out, you know, give me a call. Let's uh, let's talk. Let's get me out there so we can review your products. And of course, let me know if you've got a product uh, that you want to send me so we can review it. So you guys know what to buy for your music gear. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. Got a lot of great videos over on YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification for the next video. Until next time, you guys geek out and rock up.